BJP is joining us. Anmol Power uh, of the Amadmi Party is also joining us. Uh, Anmol Power has Mr. Kejriwal thrown his trusted lieutenants and perhaps the only uh, leaders of some uh, recall value in your party who are left in the Delhi government because everybody else is in jail. Saurav Bharadwaj and Atishi under the bus. Zaka, uh, the claims made by Enforcement Directorate are baseless and this statement is erroneous and is being misconstrued solely for sensa sensationalizing this case. I'll tell you the uh, statement which was made by Mr. Vijay Nair was in 2022 and he very categorically stated that he reported to uh, Atishi ji and Saurabh Bhardwaj ji in capacity as communication in charge because he was, he was the communication in charge of our media department. And this has nothing to do with the so-called liquor scam. He was not the part of the government. It has been stated earlier as well. So uh, these are just baseless claims. But uh, what, is the what, enforcement what were Atishi and Saurabh Bharadwaj's local standi back in 2022? Who were they? They were not even ministers in your government. Uh, one was the chief spokesperson of the party. The other was the spokesperson of the party. So the media in charge and, reported to the spokespersons. It, it was it was not it uh, it was in relation to the media strategies and communication okay it has nothing to do with the so-called liquor scam and uh, this same enforcement directorate investigating the case since last two years has been unable to recover a single penny more than 500 raids have been conducted they have around uh, 250 odd witnesses with them but still the only basis of this case is four approvers one of the approver P. Sharad Reddy, he made eight statements in which he denied the involvement of Mr. Kejriwal. Okay. But when he donated 60 crore rupees to BJP, the enforcement directorate did not oppose his bail. And the ninth statement he made was implicating Mr. Kejriwal. So, Pratyush Khan, and this the, is, the contention this is, how is the Badi Amani Party Kejriwal spokesperson is that implicated. these are claims by the ED lawyer. Why should anybody... Zaka, I disagree with you for the fact that uh, these are mere allegations which have been leveled against Mr. Kejriwal. There's uh, not an ounce of truth in, the, in these allegations. And but how can you run proved. a government from jail, sir? Sir, there are precedents in the past. There was one Sahara case in which the Honorable Supreme Court granted permission to operate from jail. They, he was provided secretarial assistance. He was provided landlines, internet facilities and a separate room. And there's another Narda scam, wherein the division bench of the Honorable uh, Calcutta High Court directed uh, two ministers, which were accused in that case, to operate from a particular house when they were kept in house arrest. Sir, and while as you are well aware, if government functions as long as a chief minister or a prime minister is there, which is why when a chief minister or a prime minister resigns, the entire cabinet gets dissolved. You have to form a new government. You have to form a new cabinet under the leadership of a new individual. That is what Mr. Kejriwal is reluctant to do. Instead, he's saying, I'll run my uh, government from jail. And by the way, there is no precedent. There is absolutely no precedent, none whatsoever, of a sitting chief minister being arrested and refusing to resign and saying that he will run or she will run the government from jail. No precedent whatsoever. Zaka, there's no constitutional bar and uh, neither is there any provision in the Representation of People Act. Technically, there's no legal bar to operate as a uh, chief minister from the jail. It is on mere allegations. No, but why, why that, is he, that why, the BJP why, what is he so afraid of, of giving up power? But why, why should he resign? On the basis of mere allegations, so, the whole case is false. The allega the allega allegations, were, an allegation, no, no, one second. allegations were there against Heman Sorain also. Why did he resign? If if I make an allegation to uh, on Prime Minister Narendra Modi that I gave a bribe of 1000 crore rupees him day before yesterday and then I asked for his resignation, so should he resign?